Opposition linked pressure group, the activists for change, FOC, are jeering for their second vigil at Kilema in Kireka in honor of Wilba Mugalasi, who was allegedly killed during the walk to work protests in early April. But at the same time, make a very, very important celebration of the several cases activists have won in court against the state. Last week, police broke up a procession by the activists in Masaka town after their first vigil in Kasananyendo in honor of a two-year-old also shot during the protests. In order to carry out such a function, police say that the organizers need to inform them about the time, motive and the venue, including the routes. However, it has turned out that the police has not been informed or the organizers have not met any of the above. We have informed them, like we did in Masaka, and they have no reason to stop us uh, because we don't need their permission. It's unlawful and unacceptable for those who are being hoodwitched into such activities, please, to shun them. On Monday, police said they had intelligence information that the activists want to disrupt business in and around Kampala, but the organizers deny any ulterior motives. About 300 people were arrested during work to work from Kireka alone. We will be targeting areas where people suffered most during the work to work uh, period. During the Youth Day celebrations in Arua last Saturday, President Yorim Seven asked youth MPs to support his proposal for a new law to deny bail to suspected rioters for at least six months. We need to strengthen legislation. To put me in Ruzira for six months is to presume I'm guilty before I'm even uh, deemed so by competent court. Chadondo East MP Semujunganda is said to be the organizer of the vigil in his area and it's not clear who will be the chief guest. Activists for Change plan to take the light a candle vigil to other parts of the country like Gulu where people were killed in the work to work protests. Sdilbiar Hanga, NTV.